Hi, dear people. So I know that I haven't been getting videos out every day lately for you. Um, I'm getting tired, really. So I'm kind of keeping it down to three times a week right now, two or three times a week. Sorry about that glare. So I've been working on one all day for you, and that's why I have my glasses on so I don't get a migraine. And uh, it's gonna be a little bit different. It's first we're starting with a kitchen tour because I've redone my kitchen and I wanted to share that with you. I really like how it looks and I redid it because I wanted to be able to cook in it. So I have been having fun with sourdough and so I'm gonna show you my first attempt at sourdough pancakes and that's gonna come at the end of the movie. And um, just disclaimer, I never said I was a good cook. Okay. Have fun. Hey guys, so today I'm gonna give you a tour of our kitchen. I've been changing it around because I've actually been cooking, shocker. So I wanted it to look a little bit more inviting for my cooking, so here we go. All right, we're gonna start right here. Now, the very first thing you're gonna notice is the floor which really needs to be redone. But in the middle of this isolation at home thing, it's not a good time to paint the kitchen floor. So it's just gonna have to be what it is. But I did throw a carpet on there that I pulled out in from the barn and I like it, it works for me. And then I went to the barn and pulled in this table too. This is a table given to me by my friends, Doug and Paul and it's been in the barn and I love it and decided to pull it into here and it gives me a lot more working room for my kitchen. So what I did was, if you guys will remember, this is my island and that was sitting right in the middle of the kitchen. So it gave me lots of workspace because you could work on both sides, but I decided I really didn't want it in the middle of the kitchen anymore. We were kind of getting stuck and this little alley and I decided to make this instead kind of a big long countertop and I brought in some of my antique boxes and just filled them with some of my it's just a little bit of my teapot collection that I've picked up here and there mostly the Salvation Army I still have bunnies out you can see and it works for me because right now we're just finally getting into the 50 degree weather and there are a lot of bunnies in the yard, but they're babies. So I'm leaving the bunnies out. And then this is a board that was part of our kitchen counter before and I brought it back in to use it as a really big cutting board. And here you're gonna see my little pet project Look at that. Sourdough starter. Looks pretty good too, right? So I have started to start some, I have started to start sourdough. This is almost a week old, almost ready to make some bread. I've been getting my recipes from Mimi's Pantry and also from Farmhouse at Boone and pretty excited about it. And then over here, I had this bread box that was in a closet and so I brought it out so that we can actually keep bread in it. And of course, this is my old cabinet. I keep items like um, flowers and stuff in there. It's dark and cool and it really works for me. So it's an old refrigerator from probably the 1940s, maybe 1950s. Over here, we've got my wonderful sink that I really love. So we have gotten into this really great system here. Oh, there's a bowl already, you know? We do the dishes and then 10 minutes later, there's another bowl in there. But this is super deep and it's really fun to wash your dishes in because you can start filling it up and then you just keep piling your dishes in and it uh, really helps you feel like the kitchen's clean already just from filling it. And then over here, I keep my potatoes and onions and they're all out in plain sight so I can know how I'm doing on them. We eat a lot of potatoes, a lot of onions. 
I drink lemon juice every day. We have a nice pineapple there that's ready to be eaten. And then I have my juicer. I have not cleaned it yet today, but this is where my, I make my juice, my juice station, and my smoothie station. And so it really helps me stay healthy when I have a station that I do it in. Then over here is one of our stoves and we've got next to it our spices and our vitamins and then some of my spackled plates, splatter plates, and then a little bit of decor. The fridge is here and over here, looking a little sloppy. We've got some towels that we have to throw in the wash. And then over here, actually, my daughter was going to make banana bread today, so we've had some bananas. This is actually my starter. The other is my extra starter that I, you know, you're supposed to throw away half when you do it, and I decided to save it and um, have two starters. So <laughs> we'll take care of that. And then this is my, um, you know, this isn't really a stove cover, but I didn't have one, and I had this board, and it fit really well there. So. We do cover up the stove, although there's a griddle on that stove that we use quite often to cook with, but this is kind of one of my baking stations. And then I moved my ladder over here. So. Right now we have this big garbage can. And what we have in there is King Arthur flour. We've been purchasing it at the bakery and using that, and that's why I decided to start my dough starter. And I've got, of course, my rolling pin sitting out. This, is, this was my grandma's rolling pin, so I really love that rolling pin. And I also have all my wood utensils out as I'm working on my yeast stuff. So the salt does not belong there. And then I've got a recipe book. Well, you know, there's a lot of things just, it's all about keeping things close at hand and yet still being decorative. So part of, I think, the cuteness of this kitchen, the charm, is that not everything is painted. You can see these are cabinets that I stained instead of painted. They're just your basic cabinets from Lowe's. The whole back is corrugated metal. So if you look at the back of this, that was originally in the middle of the kitchen, there is a spot to set up your chairs and sit. But I decided that I needed more counter space and less sitting space in this room. I needed more floor space. And by actually moving that toward the wall and putting this table in, I increased my counter space exponentially. And it's really working for us. The other thing is that these cabinets are painted green. I wish I could tell you what color they are. They are a custom made color that I made um, to match these. I loved the color. This was from the 1930s. It's one of the colors that prevails in this house. And so I wanted to match that and bring that color back into the house. And I think it's springy and wonderful. It really goes well with the yellow. Part of what functions well about this room is that things are out and available to me. So it's not the clean look of the sleek counters and cabinets, but we are in this kitchen all day long and it has to work for you. So by leaving the mixing bowls out and the flour out and the canisters, it's just easy accessibility when I have to feed my sourdough starter. It's all there. Leaving that board on there is a cutting board and also a board to um, roll your dough out. It, it works really, really well. Having a bread box accessible works really, really well. Keeping your flowers and oatmeal and everything right within reach is not only pretty,
but it works really well too. These are fake eggs, but you know, if you had chickens and you wanted to leave your eggs out, that would look really pretty too. So it's kind of like everything is right within arm's reach. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is make sourdough pancakes. So I have been making sourdough for a week now and I have lots of excess. And so I saved some of my excess and made more sourdough. So I decided to make pancakes. So you see right here, I have a lot of slop. It's all sourdough and I got a pancake recipe from Farmhouse on Boone. And I'm going to make that right now. So I've never done this. We'll see how it turns out. Gosh, what a disaster. Well, and did you grease it? Did you even grease no, it? No, I didn't grease it. Because I figured I was putting it on a hot skittle so I didn't have to grease it. No, you still have to grease it. <laughs> Mom, how the heck are you? What are you supposed to do? I don't know. So, um, many of you have asked me to do some cooking on the channel. This is why I don't because nobody wants to learn this from me. <laughs> with a hot griddle. It's kind of runny. So, in a way, these are more like crepes. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, but they rise really nicely when you flip them. Oh, these are pretty. Okay, those are nice. You wanna try them? Or do you want to wait until they have chocolate chips in them? You'll try it? 